Hello, my name is Mr. Higgles. <laughs> um, yeah, it's me, Mr. Higgles, and I'm bringing you some Battle of Titans content. Um, I don't know how much I'm actually, I'm actually going to be doing of this, uh, but I thought it'd be cool to take a sneak peek with you guys and kind of experience it the way I'm experiencing it for the first time, which is for the first time. So, the first thing I want to point out that's different than War Robots is the fact that you're not in the hangar necessarily, you're kind of outside. Super cool, like that, like that kind of feature. Um, and then when you click on a robot, it, it has an animation to it, so there's more going on than just, you know, switching screens, you know. I like that animation fact to it, to an extent. I'll get to that in a second. But as you look on the left here, you've got... Um, the ability, the, basically the rundown on the whole robot, and I love that about it, and it's got so much more than what Robots does, um, so that's really cool, I think they could benefit a lot from this kind of, you know, implementation system as far as the different aspect of the robot, it's got leg HP, it's got, you know, core HP, it's got armor resistance and all that kind of stuff, and it, to an extent that's in War Robots, but not to this extent. Um, so I, I love that. It's cool. Good detail. You can get a 3D view of it. You don't have to click on the 3D view button. It's just you can already do it. And uh, the weapon names kind of roll around with you as you do it. So if you click on a, on a weapon name, um, it brings up the same thing with the robot. Now if I hit back, it's going to do this animation. And I can actually click on another robot. So we'll go to this robot. If I hit back, I can skip that animation. Like it'll keep doing it. And I can click on another robot, so that's nice. I don't have to wait every single time. Uh, really good. That would be very frustrating. So, let's talk about upgrades for a second. So, you can hit upgrade. Now, well, let's go to something I'm actually upgraded. Yeah, not that. How about that? Okay, so I upgraded this. So, you have in-game currency, which right now it's it's dollars, or I guess whatever you want to call it. I call it dollars because there's a dollar sign on there. Um, the farther you go along on this grid, you've got five slots on the bottom. The farther you go along, the more expensive it gets. Uh, blue are common with moderate effects. Green are uncommon and very important because they allow you to unlock a new upgrade slot. And then gold slash red, it's like an amber almost like an amber color. In fact, I'll show it to you because I've got some on another robot. Shoot. This robot. Um, right here. That color right there, that uh, is the rare and have a much higher average for effect uh, for their given type. For whatever. Um, but the the red, so like as you go along, you get unlock the slots that you see locked, but the gold and red won't do that. So it's uh, it's very interesting, and as I said before, it'll get more and more expensive as you go along. So it's so much more in depth than what Robots is, where you just click upgrade and then upgrade. So you can really customize your robot and your weapon so that it can almost all be different. So right now, like we'll, we'll click on the first uh, reddish orange one thing there. This is what it is. It's armor plates from CMK. Increased HP of tower and legs by a thousand. And so it's giving me a price and the breakthrough percent. So I can hit continue. Now these three, you know, it says supercharger from CMK, increase max speed and acceleration. The next one's increase HP of tower and legs. The next one, supercharger, increase max speed and acceleration. So by uh, an even greater percent. So we can click on that one. And um, I mean, it's like, the the possibilities are are like endless with this thing like you can so i can make these all uh, acceleration and speed and make my bot super super fast or make it all um reducing cooldowns or leg hp or what have you um that's just so cool to me that there's so much so much customability in it um i really don't want to make this too long so the other thing I wanted to point out is the the bad part, or at least for me, the bad part of the animation. So if I click store, it's going to take me on this really long animation to basically where the other robots are waiting. Um, and we'll just take a run through each robot. So this is little Sean, Sean, however you say it. That's Bully, Might, which is one of the ones I have. You've got Nelly. You've got Ravager, 
and you've got Mal, and then you've got Turpits. Tear Pits, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, so those are different, different robots, but if you hit back, it's going to take you through this really long animation again to get back to where your robots are. I don't like that. Once or twice is fine, but to go back and forth, back and forth, uh, I, I just I, I think that's going to get really old. So something that that's something that they need, they need to uh, work on. If I could get my words out. Um, the other thing, because uh, if you're playing the beta right now, if you hit play, it's going to give you a wait time, max wait time, and available players. And a lot of the time, the available players is just you, meaning that you're playing against robots. Legitimately, like bots, like they're not people. So um, I don't think that's going to go into the live game, but you you never really know. Um, but just something to be aware of if you get on the beta test that you're going to be basically playing against robots unless you coordinate with other people to go in at the exact same time, so that I can kind of find you all and put you all together on opposite teams. But anyways, that's it for the short video. Well, short-ish, just a little rundown on different things. Hope you like it. Subscribe if you're new here, and uh, if you want me to do like a battle video, I will. Just drop a comment below and tell me what you what you want or what you think. And uh, take care, guys.